And let's take a look outside. Yesterday was beautiful, but rain is moving in today. But at least we can see the skyline on this Sunday morning. Andrew has your full forecast. Good morning at 7 o'clock. I'm Priya Man. Great to see you, Priya. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sean Lay. Thanks for getting up with us early on a Sunday for Local 4 News today. Beautiful, Priya, in downtown Detroit. But there's some showers moving through north of here. Yeah, absolutely. Andrew, when do we need those umbrellas? Well, some folks needed them for this morning and then once again later this afternoon. So the rain that will occur or is occurring now, it's not going to be an all day event and not everyone gets a raindrop. For example, these showers that we're seeing here and one or two thunderstorms like around Pontiac, they're not occurring everywhere, mainly north of eight mile. You see that in the Pontiac and Waterford area. Also around Mount Clemens, you have an isolated shower and you have a downpour just to the west of Mount Clemens. This line of showers through the thumb and through northern Macomb County that will reach neighborhoods like Memphis, Yale, Casco Township and getting closer to Port Huron between now and 730. So within the next 10 to 15 minutes, the rest of St. Clair County and the Sanilac County will be getting a bit wet, but behind it, not very much. So once these showers pass and they should by 8, 830 this morning, we'll see a break in the action, but it does heat up. Look at this 79 degrees by noon, 84 to 85 for a high. Increased humidity, the instability will still be around. So after two o'clock this afternoon, prepare for some scattered showers and storms once again. Not everyone gets one. It won't be a washout. Keep your plans intact. Just go ahead and plan ahead. Grab the rain gear in case you need it. That's a look at today's forecast. More Memorial Day coming up. All right, thank you, Andrew. Now to the latest concerning the coronavirus. The state is making a change in how it reports cases. It will now update both traditional test results and antibody test results. So let's take a look at the new numbers here in Michigan to get everyone updated. There were 452 new cases confirmed in the past day and 65 more lives lost. That brings the total to more than 54,000 confirmed cases. Now keep in mind, 33,000 of those cases are considered fully recovered. Memorial Day weekend, the unofficial start of summer, but in the age of coronavirus, honoring our fallen veterans, backyard barbecues, boating, all have a different feel. Yeah, with states starting to reopen across the country, some beaches were packed on Saturday. Take a look. This is Myrtle Beach in South Carolina, where there were still social distancing rules in place. Here at home, Victor Williams spoke to people around Metro Detroit about how they're celebrating safely. We'll talk about a beautiful Memorial Day weekend. You can tell by seeing everyone on the outside. They were simply tired of being indoors, but still wanted to celebrate the holiday the safe way. Just enjoying the fresh air. Temperature good. It's not too hot, not too cold. <laughs> Many call Memorial Day weekend the unofficial start of summer. But for the first time ever, Detroiters and everyone in the country actually is celebrating in a different way. I think it's a lot of people want to feel like a, a sense of normalcy, you know, at this point. Obviously, there's been a lot of uncertainty what's been going on with this. We've been quarantined for a few months, um, just trying to get out, get a fresh air. Everybody keeping a distance. It's a good, good time. People could be seen out and about enjoying the day, whether they were soaking up the warm weather and sunshine at Belle Isle, boating on the water in St. Clair Shores. What better way to kick off the summertime? It's good to get outside and it feels like when you can do something a little bit different, like lay in a hammock, it's a little bit more relaxing. But two things you'll notice different about this Memorial Day weekend are the dozens of masks being worn. You got to keep your mask on the side, but right now we live in a fast life, so we're going real fast, so we're just trying to live it good. And people who aren't in the same group keeping a safe amount of space between them because of social distancing. Somewhat of the new norm for everyone across the globe. It's honestly really weird. Um, I think everybody's had to adjust, and I think this is how it's going to be for a while, but I mean, you have to make the best of it. And once again, the experts say that being outside is fine as long as social distancing and wearing PPE is practical. But remember, there is always that risk of coming in contact with the virus. Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, and that was our Victor Williams reporting. And just take a look at this. A lot of people, of course, are spending this weekend up north. And as of Friday, restaurants and bars were allowed to reopen in the Upper Peninsula and Traverse City area. Take a look. This is Traverse City's downtown Saturday. You can see the streets were pretty busy with people shopping and eating outside. A lot of people were wearing masks, but some decided against it. Remarkable story here as people celebrate the holiday weekend. Others in mid Michigan, they are cleaning up after those devastating floods in Midland County. We're now getting a look at the power of the rising rushing water. Kathy Parse, she lives in Sanford, Michigan. When she went back to check on her home, it was gone. So her friends grabbed some kayaks 
and found her house in the river. Where is Kathy Parsh's home? When Kathy and friend Karen Stevenson went to look the next day, they found only a foundation. Then they saw it. It's in the middle it's, of the Titawasa It's River. in the middle of a bunch of debris. Kathy and her friends then got into the water. Borrowed some kayaks we found underneath the house. We were able to pull out. There um, were four of us and we found four kayaks. Yeah, yeah. On a mission to find their friend's home. Kathy, I wouldn't do this for anybody else but you. A caravan of kayaks paddling through a disaster zone. There's her house. The house and everything in it was destroyed. Oh my God. This group of friends helping Kathy find her home so Kathy could try to recover her mother's ashes inside of it. I think she wanted to go down with the ship, so she's, she wanted to stay with my house, I think. But Kathy Parch not only has fearless friends, she's overwhelmed by how the people of Sanford are helping her with food, with clothes, and with even kayaks. So those ever kayaks that they were, thank you. We, we borrowed them. We, we returned them. them back. We did put them back. The people are amazing. I love this town. Remarkable effort there. Kathy currently staying with friends. She has set up a GoFundMe page. It's on our website at clickondetroit.com to help her start her life and she's still looking for her mom's remains. Still much more to come on Local 4 News today. Let's check in with Andrew. Showers were moving through about 20 minutes ago. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. Good morning to you, Sean. Good morning, everyone. And yes, those showers are still around north of 8 Mile, but still cruising across a significant part of the area. How long will they stick around this morning? What about later this afternoon? We'll talk about more rain on the way before the holiday weekend is over. Coming right up.